Hi guys, um, <clears throat> this is one of these Philips uh, inverter boards, the one that's a master and slave. Um, this is a 6632L 0490A and it's one of those that has the, um, I've forgotten the number now, the BD9897FS uh, IC that usually blows a hole uh, out through the side. But I've always had real trouble getting these off um, in the past, they seem to be glued on and uh, to not damage the tracks is uh, is actually quite tough. So we're going to give it a, a go today with uh, this chip quick that we did a forum bulk buy. Oh, I don't know, beginning of this year. Uh, this particular uh, one I've got is the lead-free version, and I mean, to be honest, it, it does work. But I would have gone for the the normal uh, leaded version, um, having tr if I'd tried this before. So. You know, unless you're really uh, doing lead-free work, uh, which you would have to use this for, then yeah, I would stick with the, the other cheaper version. But uh, yeah, that's what we've got, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see this. I've got the camera as close as I dare. Uh, let see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, that's about as good as I can get it. I'm going to see if I can do this through the Mantis uh, for me, whilst you're seeing it through the camera. Hopefully that's not interfering with... no, okay, that's fine. So, yeah, let's give this a go. I'm just going to run the solder down each side. Tell you what, I'll tell you what I'm going to do first. I'm just going to... Gonna wipe over this with uh, a fibre pen. Again, hopefully this is still on the camera. I can't see it because I'm looking through the mantis. We're just going to clean up those pins. There we go. Just brush that off. And uh, we'll just pop some liquid flux onto there. Right, let's give this a, a go. Yeah, a bit smoky. going to keep that molten on each side. We've got the tweezers here and hopefully with the tweezers we should be able to lift that straight off. There we go. And uh, you'll probably notice that this is even even now still molten. No, in fact it's, uh, it's gone off. Normally that stays molten for quite a lot longer than that. Well, it is pretty cold again in the workshop uh, today, so I'm just going to see if I can clean this off. As I've mentioned on the other videos, you can sweep this into a ball and then just lift it off with the tweezers, so we'll, I'll attempt to show you that. There you go. That's, uh, I don't know where you're seeing this, but that's quite a lump come off in one go. Just gonna get that to one side. There's some more, 
Just there, we'll just try and drag that across and into a ball and down and uh, that's picked quite a lump up. A bit more there. Whoops, just knocked the camera. I don't know whether you can still see that. Uh, yeah, I think so. So we'll just get in there now with the braid. Hopefully you can see how easily that came off. So yeah, that will just uh, clean up now with a bit of flux remover. Just give that a little spray. And a little brush over. Hopefully this isn't spraying all over the camera lens. <laughs> and that is absolutely perfect. Just going to lift the mantis up and uh, turn this board round for a close up. Hopefully that will get into focus in a second. There we go. Uh, and hopefully you can see that all the pads are intact. No. Uh, no damage whatsoever. So that's that one. Um, I happen to have another one here. Again, if I can find the IC on the camera. Yeah, this one uh, has blown up. You can see uh, through the side there. I've actually scraped this uh, hole out in the chip, just made it a bit bigger. Uh, so I was playing with it a few weeks ago. So we're just going to do the same with uh, with this one. I think see if uh, see how easily we can take that one off. So if I can find my fibre pen. Oh, let's just bring the mantis back down. Check the camera, it's a little bit out. Uh, just going to bring that up into the middle a bit. There you go. So, yeah, quick clean with the fiber pencil. Oops. And down the other side. Just brush that off. I've got the four times lens fitted to the Mantis, so there's you know plenty of clearance. Too much again. Okay, let's just run that down the side. I'm just going to curve this slightly this time, make it a little bit easier. Okay, here we go. side all right we'll just get the tweezers ready and we'll just heat up the sides again now you can see I think I was moving that with the soldering iron, it was so loose. And uh, just check the camera position, yeah, that's fine. So I uh, was just going to pull this into a ball like that, grab it with the tweezers, just let it cool off for a second, and just carefully lift it off. Same with the other side. 
got some spread over here a bit. It's not a problem, it will all, it'll all come off. Uh, just in there, just going to melt that a bit. Yeah, it's all crumbly, so no problem. Just going to give that a brush, that'll probably come off. I've not done quite such a good job on this one. Of course, there's no damage to the pads. Hopefully, that phone will stop any minute. That's one side. And that's the other side, pretty much. I would spend more time cleaning that up, but you get the idea. I'm just going to lift the mantis out and show you this close up. We can see it uh, there, hopefully. With just a bit of flux cleaner on there, that will be a uh, another tricky chip replay and um, removed. So yeah, I thoroughly recommend the, uh, the chip quick. In fact, I'll just clean this up uh, whilst we've got the camera going. Yeah, I'd spend a little bit longer cleaning this up uh, normally. There's a few bits still on there. But you get the idea. I just wanted to show any of you who've never used Chip Quick um, how easy it is to remove these. Now, this particular IC I think is one of the toughest ones to get off normally. It certainly has been for me. I've, I've picked two completely different boards that use the IC uh, from my scrap box. Uh, but you, know, you can see how quickly and easily that came off. Chip Quick is not cheap, that's why we did a forum bulk purchase back, uh, I think it was February time. Um, but it's, it's well worth it. Out of uh, one complete stick, I have just a small, let me go back, just a small piece left, probably two and a half inches out of six. So, you know, you do use it quite quickly, but uh, it pays for itself on. Uh, you know just a few jobs so yeah there you go hope that was useful and i'll uh, check, check it out on the forum uh, i think we've got, we've got some other information on it uh, from the bulk purchase uh, yeah catch you later